So I went to IU as a uh, as a postdoctoral fellow, um, completed a two-year postdoc uh, in behavioral nursing research, and what that meant for me, because I'm oncology focused, is that I um, I try to understand why people do the things that they do and how health beliefs and health behaviors affect uh, cancer-related behaviors. Specifically, my research um, revolves around understanding why people make the decision to screen for lung cancer or not, and um, we've done a lot of foundational work. I've created a conceptual model uh, to guide my program of research. I've created some instruments to uh, measure health beliefs in lung cancer screening. You're generally, as a faculty member, you're really passionate about what you're doing. And so when you have students that are in your program and are passionate and are, are trying to attain a goal like a PhD, you are invested in them because you love this profession of nursing. You love nursing science. You love the research. And so that's what you have here at UofL. You have a whole cadre of people who are here to support you, whether they're faculty or they're an advisor or they're the dean. Uh, they want to see you succeed. and. and and they genuinely want you to do well. And it, you can get a PhD in a lot of different things, but a PhD in nursing brings the nursing perspective and the nursing frame. And so what I think is unique about that, particularly in clinical research, is we are the only profession that is with the patient 24 hours a day, and therefore we're always thinking of the patient. So it's always the patient voice that we're trying to address because the difference between a PhD and a DNP or an MSN or a BSN is with a PhD you are creating new knowledge. That was actually something that was said to me by a professor here at UofL when I first entered the PhD program. And it was, it's such few words but so powerful if you really think about that. Um, when I was going through my master's program, I was learning how to be an adult nurse practitioner. I was learning skills, I was learning content, I was taking tests. When you go into a PhD program, you're the one who's actually creating new knowledge that's never been done before in whatever area or field or path that you're um, interested in. And that's a bit scary, um, but it's also really exciting.